to the polar vortex. Now, it sounds dramatic, certainly sounds very cold. These are the latest pictures from the northern plains in the US. Now, snow's causing absolute chaos over there. But uh, what is this polar vortex? What does it actually mean to, to you and me, and where is it found? Well, let's address, first of all, what the polar vortex is. It's normally recognized as a huge chunk of uh, atmosphere, frigid atmosphere, rotating around 30 kilometers above our head in the stratosphere. It spins because our planet spins, and it's called the polar vortex because it sits over the polar region. It's as simple as that. Now, quite often what happens with this polar vortex, the way it kind of spins is reflected a little bit lower down in the, the atmosphere. Now, the polar vortex tends to work in harmony with our well-known friend, the jet stream. And the jet stream often meanders underneath the polar vortex. Occasionally, uh, this meandering jet stream digs so far south it actually breaks off and traps a blob of spinning cold polar air. You can think of it almost like, a, I don't know, like an egg yolk wobbling there on its own. And these smaller vortices of polar air can bring some really extremely cold weather. Now, occasionally the term polar vortex is used to describe these smaller circulations, but the, the main thing up there, that's, it's way up there in the, uh, the stratosphere, that's where it stays. Now, some of you have asked whether this cold air will actually reach Europe. The answer is no, because the Atlantic Ocean warms up any cold air coming from the US before it arrives. And Europe's coldest weather usually comes from the east, from Siberia. So that's it. That's all on this cold polar vortex. Take care out there.